guys thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video if this is your first time on the channel be sure to subscribe to mojo grip and if you've been watching my videos for a long time please consider supporting the channel with a monthly subscription you can become an mvp or an elite member on the website you can do so by going to mojogrip.net forward slash mvp or just use the link below in the description. Now, let's get back to today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So today we're getting an update on one of the airplanes that I reviewed on this channel way back. We all remember the Sabre Wing. Uh, this is one of the first airplanes I cover in depth uh, about a year or two years ago. So Sabre Wing is a two-seater experimental airplane based here in Adele, Georgia and the plane one of the most attractive thing about it is that it's affordable okay the kits start at less than 30 grand and you can use your own engine if you please to but they have a car engine conversion called the corvair corvair engines are gm engines that were built way way back but there's a lot of them available today and they've been using them to fly airplanes for a long time so and i actually i got a chance to fly the original prototype of the saber wing which is the tail dragger and it was sweet it was a sweet ride the airplane handled very smoothly um, so i can say a lot of good things about it and this is an airplane that you can literally build for less than 50 grand all in not just getting the kit the kit engine everything you have a flying airplane for about 50 grand or less okay but the update i want to give you today is that there's a new model of the saber wing available now if you recall the last time i was at their headquarters i took you through like a tour of the factory and if you recall there was a prototype that they were working on at the time which was the tricycle landing gear version now the reason why a tricycle landing gear will be needed is because one it's probably the most common type of airplane you see flying especially single engine airplanes but more importantly this is going to be the light sport version and the reason that's important is for pilots who may not want a tail dragger or more importantly for pilots who may have one or two things happening with medical when you go into the light sport category there, there are less rules so that way you can go in and fly either with a light sport uh, license or a private pilot license but generally speaking you would need a private pilot license to fly the original prototype which is the one with the tail wheel but with a light sport you can just fly with the light sport license but so I remember we checked this out and I've been following Azalea Aviation and guys if you are not familiar with them check their website out it's azaleaaviation.com also they're available on Facebook so I've been following the build on Facebook been in contact with Bill and recently they just finished the prototype the flying prototype for the light sport version which is the tricycle landing gear which I think is actually more attractive than the tail dragger okay so that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about today now the performance for either model will probably be slightly different one of the downside i would say you would get with a light sport is again you have limitations although the rules are more lenient but you also have limitations in terms of you know how you can fly the airplane but also how heavy the airplane is so i know for a fact that with light sports there's a limitation to the gross weight of the airplane so for example if we look at and i'm looking at my screen here if we look at the gross weight for the original prototype for the saber wing it's 1500 pounds and with that you have an empty weight of 750 pounds so that means you're left with about 750 pounds for your useful load and that's good for a two-seater that's more than enough to take two people probably fill up your uh, fill up your tanks and go somewhere now the saber wing is a 500 miles 600 miles airplane which is plenty now with the light sport version you may get a lower gross weight which also means you get a lower useful load i don't have the exact numbers yet but i will update you guys once i get them but this is what we know for the original prototype 
you can have a 100 horsepower Corvette engine or 120 horsepower or 120 horsepower turbocharged. Okay, so you have those engine options for the original prototype with the tailwheel. Now, with the light sport, chances are you're going to be limited to 100 horsepower. That's another limitation you would have in light sport. And also you're gonna be limited to about 120 knots in speed. With the original prototype, you can go up to 200 miles per hour in the airplane. As a matter of fact, when I flew it, we saw in cruise 160 miles per hour. So about 150, 160 is your sweet spot for that airplane. Um, for the light sport version, you will be at a limitation of 120. And 120 knots is still, is still a lot. You're, you're going 130 miles per hour or so. So that, that's plenty of speed, okay? So those are the numbers that I have so far. Now, price, which is probably the most important number, the original Sabre Wing is priced around $29,000 for the kit. And then depending on your engine choice, the 100 horsepower Corvette engine, for example, last I checked, uh, they were selling that for about 10 or $11,000. Now, the higher you go in horsepower, say you opted for the 120 horsepower, you probably add another three grand to that. And if you go for the turbocharge, you're looking at closer to $20,000. Now, these numbers I'm putting out may have changed. Uh, I'm gonna get in contact with Bill and find out what those numbers are. But I know that still with about $50,000, you can have a flying airplane. Chances are if you visit Azele Aviation, uh, you can always reach out to them online uh, and go, go check out their spot in Adele, Georgia, and you may see that prototype there or maybe go for a flight. Uh, but more than likely, I'm looking forward to seeing it fly at Oshkosh 2020. But guys, the LS8 version is here. If you are, if you ever had an interest in building a Sabre one, because this was one of the airplanes that I considered building, um, but for several reasons, I decided to go with the Sling, um, more because the Sling is a bigger airplane and I have more room. But I can attest that the Sabre Wing is a very neat airplane. It's affordable and you're dealing with everyday people. Bill is, he's an everyday guy and he'll answer whatever questions you have. And guys, I'm going to update you as soon as I get more. Make sure you check out the description in, for this this video I have all the performance data there and when anything new comes up I'll add it to the description or just pin it in the comment tabs but let me know if you have any questions because I remember there were a lot of questions for the original uh, Sabre Wing video that I did so let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll pass them along oh also one of the uh, most common question is what is the build material the Sabre Wing uses wood and fiberglass so i don't know if that's changing for the light sport version but i know for the prototype the original prototype it was wood and fiberglass and wood has been used forever to build airplanes even aerobatic airplanes anyway that's my update for today i hope you guys enjoy this one if you did please give a thumbs up also be sure to subscribe and if you're not rocking mojo grip gear yet i have one of my mg shirts on today although it's it's cold and i'm trying to stay warm but you guys can grab a t-shirt at the teespring store i'm actually looking to just transfer everything over to the main website which is mojogrip.net so be on the lookout for that also a way to support the channel is by becoming a paid member on mojogrip.net you can become an mvp member all right and i greatly appreciate it okay guys so until the next video be good Make sure you go for a demo flight and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Guys, thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Grip. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, please consider supporting the channel with a monthly subscription. You can become an MVP or an elite member on the website. You can do so by going to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP or just use the link below in the description.